I've had a lot of experience in farming, but I don't have the knowledge that this man right here does. When you find a chef, though, that, that actually cares about this kind of food like you do, I mean, it's, it's pretty far and few between these yeah. days. As soon as I saw these boxes popping up, I would start creeping around here. I'd just walk straight through and be like, all right, this is definitely gonna be a garden. Something is happening here. I need to be a part of it. So one day I just kind of showed up after calling him briefly on the phone and was like, what's up, what do you got? I have a wine dinner. And he showed up with probably the greatest looking hacker eyes I've ever seen. From that point, I told him that I was really easily bought and <laughs> I, I'd work my butt off for him, so. so. The vision behind Commune started when I had an organic farm here in Virginia Beach and we were operating as an educational farm. So we brought a lot of people in to learn how to farm sustainably, how to farm organically, how to create compost. We also started doing cooking classes on the farm. These classes ended up selling out for two years straight. People were, were really dying to be a part of, of, a, of a local food system. We kind of figured, okay, we have a passion for growing this food. We also have a passion for cooking this food. What if we had a restaurant serving this food? We chose the name commune because uh, in English it kind of means people coming together and in French the word signifies the smallest territorial division that exists. We wanted everything that we do here to, to be friendly to the people that are eating it, friendly to the employees that are working here, and friendly to the environment. We don't, we don't have a can opener here, for example. Um, everything's coming in dirty. We have to clean it. We have to break it down. This is artisanship at its finest. For me, this is honestly a dream. I grew up with a backyard farm. I grew up on the peninsula surrounded by watermen. And uh, I never really understood what cleanly, organically, biodynamically growing food meant. It kind of opened up my world as far as how simply you can treat something that's really, really good and how tasty it can be. And more importantly, how good for your local economy and your environment it makes it. Respect for the ingredient is very, very important. Uh, we try our very best to be a zero waste kitchen. Things we cannot use in stocks or scrap for other things go straight into a compost and we deliver them out to farms. I think that Hampton Roads was really looking for a restaurant that was serving this type of food, meaning really fresh and somewhere that's honest that you can trust. You know where everything is coming from. When you walk into our restaurant, you can see a list of where every single ingredient that we have on the menu at that time, every farm that it comes from, and, th and that changes a lot. It's, 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 that's what makes it fun to, to be able to deal with, with the farmer directly. We talk to these guys on the phone and they're able to tell us exactly what's going on, whether it be uh, a vegetable crop or what What's going on with the animals at this point, when they're going to be ready. It's a much deeper and honest relationship that we have with the people that are growing all this stuff. I've worked with chefs before that have used a lot of local ingredients, but I've never met a guy like Kevin that was just like, no, <laughs> we're, we're not getting that. It's not from around here. No. It's really cool to see the locals kind of jump on board with that as well. We don't have lemons here in Virginia. We don't have avocados here in Virginia. So you, you work with what you have and you, you switch things up and you get creative with it. What we do is first come up with the ingredients, get everything in that we possibly can, and then develop dishes from that point, which is kind of how you have to do it if you're wanting to depend on using only what's available locally at any given time. We've never had a problem with getting a hold of ingredients. We've had plenty of diverse ingredients for the whole time we've been open, and that was through the winter time, yeah. from October until now. Here in Virginia Beach in the Vibe District, in this, this creative arts district where we're located, being creative comes naturally to a lot of people that are around here that are all supporting each other and giving each other advice and sharing ideas with each other. Everyone's been able to grow and expand and it's happening fast.